Hey folks, how are we doing? Uh, Mr. Carter right here, ready to do home link 7.1. Go ahead and put your name on this uh, if you haven't yet already, and let's begin. So, um, today we're converting from uh, gallons to pints to quarts and cups. Um, and for numbers 1 through 4, they're asking you to go through your house, see if you can find anything that measures about 1 gallon, or about 1 quart, or about 1 pint, or about a cup. And just write that in, and then go ahead and write the liquid measurements that are on the label. So, for example, you might have a jug of orange juice at your house. Well, that would be about a gallon or 3.78 liters. So, um, go ahead through your house, see if you can find anything around those sizes, and uh, go ahead and fill in what you see on the label. So, we're going to go down here to questions 5 through 10, and this is where we're going to be doing some converting. Um, to help us figure out how many quarts are in a pint, et cetera, et cetera. So I have uh, what we did in class, which we made was a gallon bot. And how gallon bot works is uh, we have here, he is uh, showing what a gallon is worth. And you will see here up on the top says a gallon is four quarts. And the, his arms have one, two, three, four quarts. So, so that helps us kind of see how many quarts are in a gallon. Um, one gallon also equals eight pints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. One gallon also equals 16 cups, because if we go through, we have four. And another four would be eight down here. Another four is <clears throat> 12. And then we have four more that would equal 16 total cups. So we're going to use him to kind of help us figure out problems 5 through 10. So right now, they're asking us 2 quarts equals how many pints? Well, if we look, we see here that 1 quart equals 2 pints. So if we had 2 quarts, so that's 1 quart and 2 quarts, we would have 1, 2, 3, 4 pints. So that is, our answer is 4 pints. So we're going to go here to number 6. So he, they're asking us how many uh, cups are in three gallons. Well, if we look back at our gallon bot, we know that we have 16 cups in one gallon. So we're going to have to go 16 times 3 for that. So I'm going to write that up here, 16 times 3. I do traditional multiplication to help us figure that out. Uh, 6 times 3 <clears throat> is 18. I carry the one up here, 3 times 1 is 3, plus another one is 4. So that would be 48 total cups. Now we have, uh, they're asking us how many pints are in 4 cups. So if I look back at our gallon bot, you'll see that 4 cups here is the same as 2 pints. So we know that it's going to be 2 pints, because in 1 pint, there are two cups, so if we just double that, then it would be four. For number eight, they're asking us how many quarts are in 12 cups. So again, if I take a look at our gallon bot, I know that, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, we have four cups here, another four would be eight, another four would be 12. So if I look, I have one, two, three quarts. So three quarts equals 12 cups, because I know that in one quart there are four. So that's how we do the math on that. And number nine, we have six pints is equal to how many quarts? So again, if I look at our gallon bot, we have, again, we're looking for six pints. We have two pints here, four pints six pints, so then that would give us one, two, three quarts, because we know that one pint, I'm sorry, that one quart is two pints. So again, that would be three quarts. For number 10, they're asking us how many quarts in two and a half gallons. That's a little trickier, because we have a fraction there. So we have, again, we're looking for two and a half gallons equals how many quarts. Well, I know that one gallon equals one, two, three, four quarts. So if we have two gallons, that would be five, six, seven, eight quarts. 
And then if we have a half, that would be two more quarts on top of the eight. So that would be a total of 10 quarts would equal two and a half gallons. Moving on to our practice, uh, we have a couple of multiplication problems. So I'm gonna do 11 and 12 for you, and we're gonna have you do 13 and 14 on your own. So for 11, I'll do a traditional multiplication. So we're doing 273 times two. So we just go two times three is six. Seven times two is 14, carry the one. And two times two is four plus the one would be five. So it's 546. Six and uh, for number twelve, we're going to do a lattice. So that's three hundred and eighty-five times four. So I went ahead and made my uh, three by one array. Now I'm going to draw my diagonals, make a lattice. So five times four is twenty. Put our two there and our zero here. Eight times four is thirty-two. So put my three there and my two here. Three times four is twelve. Put my one there and my two here. And now we're going to add our diagonals. So we got a 0, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 2 <clears throat> is 5, and 1, and nothing is 1. So our answer is 1,540. So 1,540. All right, that'll do it for now. If you have questions, please come and see me. Um, Take care.